So we had a request come in from JS Films, who runs an awesome YouTube channel of how to live stream 360 video from Unreal to YouTube. And uh, he asked for an editor, but actually you can use this in runtime and in, in package games as well. So we'll get it set up and then we can also talk specifics. So it's very easy to get set up. If you go to the Off World Live logo at the top and click the live stream wizard, you can literally select a 360 camera, select the media output, give it a name, and create. I've got one open already, but this will open like here a 360 cam and a media output. And it will have a render target in the 360 cam and in the media output. Then in the media output, you need to add your RTMP settings up here. So uh, those you get from YouTube, you can see here, this is the stream key and then the stream URL. It's very easy. You just paste those in here. And at that point, broadly, you're, you're good to go. Um, so we've got a, a render target here. And if we press start, we will be streaming to YouTube like this. Now, what is important in YouTube, I should have said, that if you want to stream 360 video, then you have to toggle on this 360 video setting. But uh, once you're doing that, and obviously you're sending an equirectangular from Unreal, it will stream. So, uh, you know, here we can see I've got a, a 360 video streaming and it's pretty smooth. Um, you know, you can see great particles, smoke, etc. And so it's a nice piece of content, reflections. So that's the 360 camera. But uh, there's a couple of things to be aware of in Unreal about how to make it work. So uh, what I've done is I actually just made a super simple sequence, which is looping, and that's what's streaming out to YouTube. So you can learn how to do that in a separate video. We've got that sequence set up, and it's just looping through that, and then obviously the 360 cam is moving. Now, important things to consider. So the first is obviously resolution. So I have done it at a 1080 resolution just to keep it simple. But if you want to have high quality content, then you're going to need a higher resolution, 2K, 4K. I'm on a 2070 laptop, so it's kind of old hardware now. I'm not going to get the best performance out of it. I am running ray tracing rather than Lumen. As you can see, with the sequence of running, that's giving me about 23 frames a second. So it's okay, but probably would want more than that. Um, now, YouTube likes to have a 16-9 aspect ratio, even though it's equirectangular. So that means in the stream resolution, you're going to need a to use a custom resolution rather than the standard equirectangular resolution that we have because uh, the equirectangular resolution we have is a 2 to 1, and YouTube doesn't like that. Uh, use equirectangular as, as set, and you know, other than that, obviously, you can pick your bloom settings and anything else you might want. Other things that are kind of important, YouTube prefers a fixed frame rate. So I've just, in project settings, set a frame rate of 30 frames a second. So here, fixed frame rate, 30 frames a second. Now obviously I'm only rendering like 24, so that means it's doing some smoothing. But, you know, it's not the end of the world in this case. Um, then the other kind of key issue is bitrate. So, you know, this is where your resolution, your bandwidth, and your bitrate all come together with a bit of a challenge. So. You know, for a standard 1080 video, you would expect a bit rate of 5,000 megabits a second should be fine. And that'll give you a perfectly good resolution image. Now, for 360, I've decided to up that to 10,000. Just, you know, just uh, it's a, a more precautionary measure than anything else. But if you want to start going to 2K or 4K, you're going to have to then raise that again. So 2K, I would propose to have 15, 
and 4k you could go all the way up to 30 megabits a second now, if you don't have that bit rate what you may find is particles and more detailed elements of your scene are getting compressed out of the image so that's pretty important then obviously the higher bit rate the high your bandwidth that you need to send all of that stuff up the pipe so that means if you want to send 4k with uh, 30,000 bit rate and then you're going to need 30 megabits a second connection so that is uh, that's a big thing to think about and also you're going to want to have headroom under that so you know, if you want to start going into 4K 360 streaming, you really want to be thinking 3090 30, Ti or a6000 GPU, minimum 100 megabits a second, internet up speed, and uh, then after that, you should be in pretty good shape. 